I started photographing the Box Galaxy a long time ago, months ago. This peculiar galaxy, also known as NGC 4409, is an oddity that has puzzled astronomers for years. Now, why is it called the Box Galaxy? Well, most galaxies we know are either spiral, elliptical, or irregular in shape. But this one, it's a literal box. It is located around 13 million light years from Earth in the constellation Canes Venatici. Those stars have been forming in NGC 4449 for billions of years. The galaxy is currently in the midst of a bout of extreme starbirth, which astronomers call a starburst. The global star formation of NGC 4449 means this galaxy resembles some of the earliest galaxies in the cosmos, which grew by cannibalizing smaller star systems and taking their contents for themselves. I haven't been able to finish the session and I want to do some ha because it has a lot of hydrogen alpha, some spots, and I needed a little bit more data as this uh, galaxy is not as big as other galaxies. And... Um, Actually, it's a magnitude of 9.40, but uh, it's relatively small. And look how beautiful that galaxy is. And uh, so I'm just going to send the telescope there so I can finish my second imaging session on this galaxy after waiting for months of it. So I'm just going to current objects and slew and go which is almost there. Let's check on a uh, shark cap. Whoa, yes. Okay, so uh, that is my galaxy. Okay, let me just lower here a little bit. And here it is, so beautiful. <laughs> uh, let me change here to 50%, which is how I know where things are. And we're just going to move the target here in the middle goes uh who knows maybe aliens and I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> okay we'll just keep moving moving it to the middle we just need to be a little bit patient and here it's coming to the middle of the screen it should stabilize and let's let's take a quick look here and once again um that is right there the box galaxy so i'm going to be able to finish it finally uh, you can see uh, moving here, so we're going to see the stars a little bit elongated, which is one of my favorite words, as you know, elongated. Uh, <laughs> but it's looking really good. And let me go back to Nina. And Nina, let's just take a, a photo test. The same thing, 30 seconds, uh, just using the Optolon filter. And let's see how that one looks. Red. Oh, yes. I like it. Yes, yes. And this is just 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yes. So, ah, nice. So I am going to do hydrogen alpha. I'll start with the session on that one. And then um, hopefully I can do a couple of hours of hydrogen alpha. As I already did. Uh, months ago, um, red, green, and blue. And this target, uh, it changed positions to a point here on the uh, northeast that I couldn't get it because there's a tree right in front of it. So that's, that's what happened. The position for the telescope and the trees that I have here was not helping, but now I got it, yes. So for this galaxy, I uh, total exposure time is around six hours. Very decent scene conditions for this one, and that's why I think uh, I was successful to photograph it pretty good. And I am going to start editing here. It's going to be a very simple workflow, as I don't like to do things too complicated. And for those of you that like to follow my workflows, well, I hope you enjoyed this one. So now it's time for channel combination, and we're going to get an ugly image, as always. <laughs> uh, and I do have some uh, errors here and it has to do with consistent instrument filter names. So I need to see how I can fix that for the future. 
Okay, so I have to do the dynamic crop again, but this is good that happens because this can happen to you. Problems with inner fit, incompatible dimensions and size, it means one of them didn't get crop properly. And now we're going to have a first view of my image. <laughs> image analysis, and we are going into image solver. And okay, and hopefully it will plate solve. <laughs> Sometimes I have problems here too. Ah, <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. Um, it's a problem with this star in this one. We may have to fix that a little bit. Ultimately, I do some final retouches and stars like this and Photoshop. I don't like to get complicated. Why get complicated when I can just solve it with a little touch and, and Photoshop? Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of work on this galaxy. This is my first RGB image. Lots of gradients, and I had to apply multiple rounds on uh, gradient removals. But this is where we are right now. The galaxy, uh, it looks blurry. The next step was to apply the uh, blur exterminator. And we can have them a little bit here, side by side. And now the stars are looking better. Everything is a little bit more sharp. And the stars are a little bit more rounded. The first uh, combination after a few processes. And this image here is after using the uh, three luminance sharpening technique. Um, so you can see now we're starting to get more details. Everything is uh, coming back into life and colors and a little bit everything more uh, sharpened. And for this technique, I use uh, several uh, luminance uh, frames that were created. One of them, it's the enhanced luminance, a sharpening mask, and apply on sharp mask. All of these th images have been combined together and put it back into the RGB. This is the result of that. And little by little, I've been getting the results that I've been looking for uh, with all of these processes and uh, adding the, all the sharpening and also adding the hydrogen alpha has helped a lot. This image, as you can see, the, Im the stars are now even looking even better. And now I am able to see a little bit more inside of this galaxy. And for this uh, results, I've been using uh, some masks. And of course, uh, this uh, mask, I've been using it uh, inverted too, to work a little bit on the stars and also to be sure that I can cover certain areas here on the galaxy and add more saturation. I think this image is almost ready to send it to Photoshop and give it just the final touches as I don't think I can improve much more on it. Um, I think all I want to try right now is the star spikes and see how it looks. Ooh. Oh, 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 <laughs> not that much. Okay. I'm using Newtonian telescope and on that Newtonian telescope, I am going to have uh, lots of star spikes and I like to fix a little bit here. Um, let's see the number of points. The lens. I would like to give that star that, but the star of the image is the galaxies. I wanted to give that a little bit of a star spike right there. No, it's not the right angle. So let me just go ahead and fix that right angle there and line it up with the uh, original star spike. And one of the favorite, my favorite moments is to go ahead and put my name because always be very proud of what you do. It doesn't matter. Editing, it's a matter of personal taste. 